Hey there, Pisces. This is your May 2020 general reading. Remember, not everything I say is going to resonate with everyone. So take what does and what doesn't, go ahead and throw it out. And I'd like to thank everyone who has subscribed to my channel. I really appreciate it. It means the world to me. Also, if you hear my kids in the background, they're at home. There's no school because the schools are shut down. So it is what it is. All right, so let's go ahead and get into your reading. So starting off here, we have the material, well, material harvest right here. So something that you've been working on and hoping for is now coming, coming in for you. It's coming to fruitation. Like you're, you're now seeing your hard work paying off and it's harvest time for you. And we have beginnings. So basically May is a point of new beginnings for you. You've closed out a cycle and new stuff is starting to come in for you, which is great. And you're seeing it in May, if you're not already seeing it now. We also have the light right here. So yes, the light, you now see the light. It's like the light at the end of the tunnel. You're feeling really happy and content with everything that's happening right now. And you're also in balance. You're feeling a lot of balance. Something you may have not have felt for a while, but you're, you're feeling very much in balance now, which is great. May is looking really good for you. Now, your obstacle here is prosperity begins and protection right here. So, this is going to sound a little, a little strange, but I feel as if you might have some family that's around you that expects you to maybe help them or um, someone around you has their hand out. I'm, I'm getting that. And I really feel like you nearly need to protect your your prosperity that you're getting because it's for you i don't think you need to be feeling bad well i know you don't need to be feeling bad if you don't want to help another person because family showing up really strongly in your reading it's showing up really strong because okay before i even get to that your outcome i'm getting ahead of myself your outcome for may is spiritual strength right here everything you've gone through like with this resilience right here, you've learned your lesson, you've grown stronger spiritually, and that's why all this stuff is closing out for you. And it's becoming a very prosperous time for you. Now, when I was looking at your cards right here, because I read with music for those of you who don't know, we got Hillary Scott, the Scott family. The song is called thy will let go and let god this is about you know letting go this song's about letting go and letting god and trusting in god and then we have slim thugs chunch now i love this song it's pisces you really do need to look up this song slim Thugs by slim thug chunch hope i'm saying that right one of my favorite songs and this is basically talking about how you can't be hanging around with you know the same old people if you want to get to the level you want to get to and I really feel as if there's family around you that's or there's someone around you that really wants their hand out and you're really going to have to tell them no this month you're really going to have to tell them no um, you also got because three of these came out for you I really like to pick one but three came out you also got Marvin Gaye's song sexual healing everybody has heard this song before. And I feel like Spirit is trying to tell you that it's time for you to really um, work on your sensual sign, uh, uh, sensual side, um, that divine feminine energy. You really need, you really need to tap in more on your sexuality. You know, possibly you even need to get laid. <laughs> That's what Spirit is saying. Now, your overall energy is move right here. We have move. So in May is a time for you to really be moving. I see a lot of movement for you. You're, and, it's, and for those of you who really don't feel like moving, you know, Spirit is saying that you need to get up and start moving in May. Like you need to, and it doesn't mean move cities. I'm just saying making moves when it comes to business, when it comes to love. I see that some of you in this reading, maybe um, since we got this move card, maybe kind of waiting for love to kind of just show up but you really do need to take initiative and start looking at different ways of dating 
if you really want to find that love connection. Spirit is saying you need to get up there and get out of your comfort zone and do so. We also have for May a time for healing. So May is a really big time for you to be healing. And I, I see a lot of healing happening for you from everything you've gone through. You're now finally starting to feel that healing energy. Now, another reason why I said issues with family is because when I pulled your tea leaves, we have a problems to be resolved right here. We have someone trying to make you do something against your will. We have carriage, a journey, either physical or mental. That's interesting. And then we also have waiting for news package letter. So if you've been waiting for something, um, I believe it should start coming in in May. If not, then check for June. But you'll be awaiting some type of um, package letter. Now, when I get this card, when I do my readings for myself, it doesn't mean that that package is isn't um, is not coming in. It may not come in in May. You might you might still be meeting. You might still be waiting for it, but it's coming. If that's making any sense. And then we have family sorrow right here. So I've seen family again in your reading. And so it's just telling me that, and then with this someone making you do something against your will, there's someone around you that really wants a piece of your pie. There's something about someone around you that's a snake. And we have snake over here too. You know, the snake, the card, clever, um, look over your shoulder. There's somebody in your circle that's not good for you. And this song by Slim Thug right here talks about, you know, cutting off people, even when it comes to family, because he has a line here in his song that says, um, just because they are related to you doesn't mean that they are connected to you. Joel Alstein's on that song. Um, so it's a, it's a Joel Alstein ministry. He's take he's doing like a speech. It's in the song. Slim Thug put him in the song too. So that needs to really get to you like... I hope that's resonating with you. Like you need to really understand that just because someone's related to you, you are not obligated to take them on the same journey as you at all. So also with this journey, either physical or mental and move, some of you spirit, spirit is coming through and telling you, you do need to move, whatever it is. Um, maybe you're living with dysfunctional family. You need to leave. Um, I don't know what the situation is, but there. If you're thinking that you need to move, Spirit is saying, yes, you do need to move. Now, getting down over here, I really feel, because you have runner down here, and then you have needs time, you have dragonfly, and you have engagement ring, and then the snake shows up. Now, I feel as if someone is definitely coming back from your past, because when I was pulling your love oracle cards right here, we have reconciliation. So someone is coming back from your past. And I got further confirmation from this because I pulled from my Amara's Love Oracle deck. You have past love right here. So past love. There's an ex or somebody else that um, is coming back and wanting a second chance. And this person that's coming back in May, we have the true gem right here. And then we have engagement rings. So this is basically telling me that this person is coming in to offer you a ring. Like they want to make it work. They're really serious this time, but it's up to you. I feel like this person may have been a runner um, and they needed some time. And I feel like through your communication, because you have communication right here too, you're going to find out something lighthearted and be like, oh, okay, now I understand or whatever. Um, something that you're understand, something that you'll be understanding. We also have dating queen for you. So you're very attractive in May. Hey, <laughs> you're very, people are really wanting to get to you, Pisces. Like you're, something about you is just drawing people in. So that's, that's good. That's good. We also have, this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. So for those of you who are looking for someone, you've actually already met them. And like I said, there's a past love for some of you that's coming back. And this could be the one for you. Um, they may have been scared before, but now they're ready. And they're coming in strong with a ring. We also ha have, it's safe for you to love. So Spirit's letting you know you don't have to have your walls up anymore. I got that Maya song that popped up in my songs. 
I gotta write that on my cards. Sorry, I get these messages and they just come at weird times. Okay, yeah. Someone put walls walls up, um, asking if it's safe to put, take the walls down. Spirit is saying, yes, you can go ahead and take your walls down. You don't have to be so protective and scared you're gonna get hurt again because this time around you're not, you're good. Now let me shuffle from my butterfly oracle deck for you. See if Spirit has any more messages for you for May. Spirit, you have any more messages for Pisces for May? Let's see. Maybe we can love with you. Okay, volunteer. Yeah, I really feel like with the volunteer right here, yeah, at the bottom, moving. Some of you are gonna be moving. Some of you are definitely going to be moving. Um, it's time for you to move. That's awesome. Okay, so with the volunteer, I feel like it's time for you to really get involved um, with something. Something that you may have thought, um, maybe thought about, and you're kind of looking in the sidelines but not really participating. You need to participate. It's time for you to do um, some volunteers. And maybe for some of you... It's a time for you to do some volunteer work if that's what you've been wanting to do. It's just time for you to really volunteer and get up and move. There's Spirit is saying, you know, just don't sit there. It's time for you to get up out of your comfort zone. Now, Spirit, do you have a closing message for Pisces? Let's get a closing message for Pisces, sun, moon, rising. Okay. Okay, here we go. We have emotions are a natural and necessary part of life, but they can also distort your perception and cloud your vision. In order to see things clearly, you must let go of resentment. So if you're having resentment for someone, make sure you're letting it go, you know, so you can move forward because you need, you deserve to live your best life. And you can't do that if you're resenting people in certain situations. All right, I hope you like this message. If so, can you hit the like button for me? I'd greatly appreciate it. And the subscribe button so you know when I have other videos coming up. Um, I love you all. Thank you so much for your support and have a blessed day. Bye.